Um, it's Carl Peterson with North Coast State University Extension Service, Energy Educator. And what I want to talk about today is the new greenhouse project that we're putting in on campus here. And specifically what I'm going to talk about is the heating and cooling system they're putting in, which is a ground source heat pump system. The idea with the ground source heat pump system, what it does, it takes the heat from underground and pumps it into a building, or vice versa, it takes the heat out of a building and pumps it underground in the summertime to cool off the building. The nice thing about it is it's extremely efficient. You're not creating heat, you're not releasing heat like in bring a fossil fuel. You're actually just moving heat from one area to the other. Three main components. The main component we're going to be talking about today is the outside component. The exchange, the heat exchanger, which is underground in this case, they've drilled a series of wells, a hundred wells down in the ground, where a loop of pipe goes down, brings that heat down and exchanges that heat as it comes up. It connects to bigger pipes as it comes in. We'll show you those more in a minute. This is the new greenhouse project. Just to take a look at the, uh, the geothermal heat and cooling going into it. You can see where the pipes coming in, the returns pipes and the, uh, the pipes heading that back out to the wells are going in there. There's manifold inside the greenhouse. This is actually the greenhouse building here. Come out of that wall and head down into the trenches. And what they've got is you can see these pipes right here going down into the ground. They drill, drill those down 150, 200 feet. I haven't asked yet. Hook them up to these manifolds and thermal couple of these with heat. They attach those smaller pipes to these larger return pipes and you can see some of these pipes here and they take them all the way out they put in a hundred holes a hundred wells with this smaller pipe send that heat from inside the building underground where it's dissipated or else collect the heat from inside from underground and bring it into the building to heat that building more pick up all these wells they still have another whole series of drilled wells going out that direction there to hook those up extremely efficient these are where the pipes come into the wall. We're out there on the other side. And you see all you have is simply you have big return pipes and supply pipes that go throughout the building and out through the greenhouse and connect to the, the water pumps on the other side that pump the water throughout the building, collect the heat, and distribute it either into the ground or into the greenhouse. The fluid that circulated through the ground loop heat exchanger doesn't actually circulate through the building. The heat is concentrated in the heat pump, and then that is transferred over to the distribution system that goes throughout the building. Really melt the pipe. Both ends pull the iron out, put the melted plate back in, and then it works. But just say, um, so how are you getting those pipes to stick again? Can well, we melt them, that, that iron right there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, it's in the bucket. But uh, that's 500 degrees. And then we put those clamps on it so that it doesn't melt the whole pipe, just the part you want. And then they actually melt the pipes together, one inside the other. Right. 